सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर जय पाल सर सर गुड मॉर्निंग तिरमाल सर सर बता दे स्टूडेंट सर कनेक्टिंग वन मोर सर चिदंबरम सर एस टू कम ओके ओके दैट इज ओके सर बिकॉज एट लीस्ट मोर देन 15 मेंबर्स शुड बी इन ऑनलाइन आई थिंक यस 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 ऑल विल बी आई विल बी जॉइन दे विल दे विल जॉइन है ओके ओके सर
हेलो सर वेलकम सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर सर काइंडली अनम्यूट सर सर चिदम्बरम सर सर चिदम्बरम सर प्रो सर सर वी कुड नॉट हियर यू सर युअर माइक इज म्यूटेड हेलो सर शैल वी स्टार्ट सर जयपाल सर ओके सर यू स्टार्ट दिस यू स्टार्ट द यस सर अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द पैनल मेंबर्स आई इज वेरी हार्डनिंग टू वेलकम यू फॉर द पब्लिक वाइवा वॉइस ऑफ भारती राजा आर on the title experimental investigation of the drying kinetics and physico chemical qualities of tucky berry in a fluidized bed dryer uh, the thesis was uh, sent for uh, two examiners indian examiner dr rale chidambaram who is with us professor of mechanical annamalai university chidambaram sir welcome sir and the foreign examiner dr abdul kalam husain hastain Australian University, Birmingham, UK. Uh, they have given 23 uh, 23 comments by uh, Dr. L. H. Chidambaram, and uh, foreign examiner have given uh, 16 comments on his uh, report. All the corrections and com uh, comments were incorporated in the revised uh, thesis, and the panel was sent for Anna Anna University. Uh, today we are uh, 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 in the last phase of uh, conducting this public by uh, wise. We have. the subject expert dr s jayapal professor of mechanical government college of engineering tanjavur for the public viva wise exam i request the candidate to present his uh, thesis uh, revise the thesis for public viva wise and defend uh, the questions raised by the public and uh, um, uh, subject expert and indian examiner i request you to make the presentation very clear and crisp and highlight the important salient points and you need not uh, read all the points in the ppt uh, please make it uh, very crisp and clear so that uh, everyone can understand please bard raja go ahead hello everyone hello everyone uh, good morning and uh, welcome to my research supervisor uh, principal of gc bagu head of the department of mechanical and head of the department of other department faculty members of gc bagu other institute the research scholar and the students <coughs> it is my pleasure to welcome to everyone to my presentation thank you for given this opportunity Uh, I am Bharati Raja. My research, uh, I am a research scholar in DC Bago. My research uh, topic is experimental investigation of the drying kinetics and the physiochemical qualities of turkey berry in a fluidized bed dryer. Uh, 
my research supervisor dr p tirumal professor and head department of the mechanical engineering gc burgur uh, thank you for your expert guidance and encouragement and support for all my efforts and struggles my indian uh, welcome to my indian examiner dr l h chidambaram professor mechanical engineering anamala university chidambaram Uh, uh, for my foreign examiner, Dr. Abdul Kalam Hussain, Professor Aston University. Uh, both are given the valuable, uh, both are given the valuable suggestions and the corrections of my thesis work. Uh, those things improve my thesis work. Uh, welcome to my subject uh, subject expert for my for my biogas examinations, uh, Dr. S. Jaybal, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Government College of Engineering, Punjab. Uh, my doctor uh, committee members, Dr. P. Bhavu Murugan, uh, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sri Krishna College, uh, and Technology in Coimbatore, uh, and uh, Dr. V. Krubagran, Associate Professor, uh, Gandhi Gram University, Indical. Uh, my my head of the department, Dr. P. Tirumal, all of you. Uh, thank you very much. For uh, for your valuable uh, suggestions and support throughout my research work. Outline of of this presentation is introduction and literature review, research cap, materials, and methods, external details, external details, result and discussion, summary and conclusion, uh, suggestion of future research and the publications. The introduction part. The introduction part. Uh, in agriculture in agriculture industries uh, the post harvest technique is very very important uh, if improper uh, post harvest technique we have handle um, much more loss of uh, food product is uh, uh, much more product is loss is obtained so we have to focus on the post harvest technique in post post harvest technique includes process done immediately after harvesting and after harvest to produce including cleaning Charting and cooling, drying and packing. Uh, if you if you uh, if you correct proper uh, post harvest technique following to minimize the qualitative as well as quantitative loss of after harvesting, uh, forty percent of losses in fruits and vegetables due to improper handling and storage, packing and transportation. Uh, the data is available in uh, FAQ uh, United uh, United uh, UN FAQ 2019. Uh, how much amount of uh, agriculture products is losses per year? Uh, we will collect the data. Forty percent loss in fruits and vegetables. Uh, this chart is uh, this uh, this chart says that uh, totally how much amount of uh, post uh, in post harvest losses for worldwide uh, worldwide is twenty one percent is worldwide losses in the after this uh, agro product. Uh, for india 8% is uh, product losses we have to uh, data is available in the uh, net uh, next uh, maximum percentage losses of agriculture food product in india uh, in india uh, for example of the oil seeds and the fruits and vegetables uh, around uh, 40% of uh, food uh, after after food is the uh, A group product, uh, the losses will be uh, accounted. Uh, so, uh, in food in food processing in the in food processing industry, we have to save the losses. So, food preservation is very important technique. Uh, 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 in this technique, to prevent the deterioration of spoilage of uh, food product and extend the shelf life. While assuring the consumer product free from uh, microorganisms, in in method of uh, in food in food preservation method, there is so many uh, techniques are always following the current uh, uh, current uh, current uh, current scenario. Uh, first one is drying, uh, cooling, freezing, salting, uh, canning and gelling, heating. Uh, we are focused on the drying because the drying is a simple technique. It is very economical point of view. so we can focus on only for the drying the food preservation technique uh, drying drying is removing of excess water content from the agro product 
through simultaneously heat and mass transfer from the samples. Uh, the, the need for dry is to reduce the wastage of vegetables, to increase the shelf life of vegetables, to reduce the cost of packing and the cost of storage and the transportation cost, to improve the quality of product as well as. The drying mechanism, there are uh, four mechanisms currently used. Uh, first one is a convection method, uh, convection mode, conduction mode, and radiation mode. Uh, finally, radio frequency mode modes also used in the drying mechanism. Uh, first one is a uh, in drying curves, uh, uh, moisture blender versus style. Uh, one to two is a concentrate process, uh, two to three is a falling rate process, three to four is a second falling rate process. In concentrate process, in the, you know, the water is evaporated constantly through the with, res, uh, with respect to the time whereas in falling rate period in falling rate period uh, the time period the drying of the duration of drying uh, the falling the, the the evaporation it will be uh, initially high then it will be reduced to the uh, uh, time period okay next uh, in commercially the, uh, there are different types of uh, dryers are uh, available in the market uh, for example, spray and flask dryer, vacuum dryer, rotary dryer, freeze dryer, fluidized bed dryer, solar dryer. Uh, in our project, we focus on the fluidized bed dryer uh, because of uh, it is very uh, very high thermal efficiency as well as uniform drying also uh, uniform dry, uh, drying uh, drying of the product also are getting. Therefore, uh, what are the what are the advantage and the disadvantages? We can see the upcoming slides. What is the fluidization? The fluidization is a process which a solid particle, the samples, are transformed in the fluid-like state through the contact with a gas or a liquid. Uh, there are so many advantages uh, in fluidized bed dryer. High rate of heat and mass transfer, high drying rate of particle mix and particle mixing, high thermal efficiency, uniform drying, and better quality of product, low capital and maintenance cost, easy to control and combat sex. That's why we are choosing the fluidized bed dryer. Uh, there is some disadvantage. It is consume more power and also entrainment the fine, fine particles, uh, higher pressure variation, uh, some, some uh, big, uh, big weight or uh, more weight particles, maybe poor fluidization is possible. Uh, types, uh, different types of fluidization uh, it, 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 it can be classified into conventional fluidized bed and modified fluidized type. In conventional fluidized, we can choose only for the patch type fluidized bed for the in the current studies. Uh, the commercial dryer, we choose under some uh, commercial dryers under their characteristics also listed in the tables. Uh, in the tables, we have highlighted for the fluidized bed dryer. The evaporation rate is almost high, uh, whereas uh, in pneumatic is a meter uh, volume of per hour uh, is uh, 30 to 120, but in today's bed dryer, uh, 30 to 90 per, per meter square, per unit area, the evaporation capacity is uh, possible. Uh, the energy consumption and the thermal efficiency, 40 to 80, maximum 80 percent we can achieve. Uh, Motivation of the research, based on the current scenario of post harvest wastage of product, uh, especially the storage of infrastructure after harvesting preservation technique. Uh, India is the second largest agriculture agro product, produce agro product. India has started to enhance the infrastructure of facilitate this product as well as improve the drying method. So we can choose the uh, we, we can choose the this domain drying of the product. Uh, to uh, conducting the research study to discover the key domains uh, in food preservation challenge and improve the drying kinetics and the qualities. Uh, this, 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 this is aims to find a new technique and provide a solution of, to this problem of a product and the degradation of post uh, Literature views. We have focused on the so many so, uh, different areas, uh, different domains we have to study. Uh, first one is uh, turkey berry nutrition values and very good. Uh, in the recent times, uh, how many uh, 
what are the researchers doing the uh, doing the papers we have to collect on the next one is drying kinetic and the third one is mathematical modeling and the minimum fluidization of various approved products we have to collect uh, fluidized bed drying of some other pro food products we have collected in the recent trends and the optimization of drying parameters various attribute products using the rsl technique uh, uh, previous uh, literature we have to collect her. and the effect of addition of inert material to these samples uh, we have to collect the literature review uh, and uh, the effect of physical and chemical pretreatment on the drying uh, what is the effect what is the, the outcome uh, all those things we are collected from the previous uh, literature uh, and the comparative study of hard air drying with the open sun drying also we have to collect what are the uh, what are the result findings also we have to look at. Uh, finally, energy and exergy efficiency of various products in FPD, particularly in the FPD. Uh, previous uh, literatures also, uh, outcomes also listed, here, uh, listed in the table. From the literature review, uh, we have choose the turkey berries in the product. Uh, why we have to choose the turkey berry as a product? Because uh, no one has studied up to now uh, in two days but dryer. And, uh, and, uh, and as well as it is a very health benefit. It is promoting the promoting the digestion activities uh, and control diabetes, as well as the high nutritional benefits, rich in protein, polyclonins, and vitamins, and the micro uh, It is very low carbohydrate and calories. The, that's what it is. You can see. Go to the experimental part. Next. Next. Oh, okay. uh, From here. This is my main objective of the, my thesis. Uh, first, to evaluate the drying characteristics and quality of the Three methods for semi fluidized bed condition and fluidized bed condition. And the next, next study is to optimize the input parameters and uh, output parameters uh, by using the uh, RSM technique. A third study is the effect of addition of inert material to the sample to enhance the kinetic and the qualities of the food product. The fourth study to investigate to affect the physical uh, the effect of physical and chemical pretreatment on the sample uh, drying in a fluidized bed drain. Uh, fifth study is uh, to compare the fluidized bed to open sun drying. Uh, final study is uh, comparing the drying performance such as energy, exergy for untreated, pretreated sample as well as addition of inert, inert material sample. Materials uh, and methods. Uh, this is my experimental work plan. Next slide. Uh, first, we, we are collecting from the turkey berry from the local market. Then it will be second grade by uniform size and weight. Uh, we can second grade. Uh, Temperature particle are uh, disposed. Uh, the next one is a sample preparation. Uh, and then uh, to find the initial moisture content of the turkey berry. Yeah, because all the vegetables and fruits, they, they have own uh, initial moisture content. So first we have to find the what is the initial moisture content of the sample. Then drying characteristics to investigate the fixed and uh, fluidized bed condition optimization point. To enhance the drying techniques, there are two techniques we have to use. One physical and chemical pretreatment and the addition of inert materials such as copper, aluminum and magnesium. We are using the energy carrying as uh, inert material. Then comparative study, energy excess studies. To find the all these studies, to have to find the what is the drying kinetic uh, and the qualities of the product with the help of uh, with the help of some uh, some instruments, uh, some tests and exam details, vitamin analysis tests. All the instruments we have to use and what is the quality and the drying kinetics we have to study. Uh, find, and then we have to analyze uh, analyze and discussing the experimental results. Finally, we have to find, uh, we have to discuss the conclusion part of the this thesis. Next one is a sample preparation. Uh, the sample in for uh, in inert material studies, we have to collect the three inert materials. One is the aluminium, copper, and magnesium. Uh, 
the size of the, the physical properties of the inert materials are listed here. Thermal conducting specific heat are also we have to measure total surface area. Uh, we have chosen what base we have to choose in the inert material is the weight basis because the turkey berry, a single turkey berry weight is two grams. Uh, same inert material, uh, same inert material also we have to choose. Uh, that, that's why the, uh, the, the diameter and the length will be vary. Uh, we, we have we have focused only the because the fluidization uh, if you if you put on the samples and the inlet materials the all those all those things are clearly we have to fluidize that's why we choose them for the weight basis uh, next one is the uh, 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 effect of physical and chemical pretreatment methods we have to choose the two oils and uh, two chemicals uh, chemical on the uh, chem chemical uh, potassium carbonate and uh, uh, the potassium bisulfate we have to use uh, and uh, physical pretreatment since the sandpaper will be used uh, the solutions uh, solutions prepared and uh, with the help of the magnetic stirrer uh, the, these those, uh, these uh, instruments are how used in the my research uh, with the help of to find the drying kinetics uh, and uh, qualities as well as uh, physical properties also we have to study. The next one, next part is here to find the initial moisture content of the turkey berry. We have two, two methods we have to study in the uh, initial moisture content. One is here uh, uh, wet basis and another one is a dry basis. We can use the this equation. Uh, we have take the 10 grams of fresh samples taken in the each test. Uh, the average initial moisture content of the soil at uh, 5.2, 5.25 kg per kg in dry basis, uh, determined by the vacuum ring, the AOC method, uh, at 70 degree Celsius, we have to find uh, the initial mindset content of the dirty berry is 5.25 kg, kg DMAD. Next, uh, previously we have to, uh, we have seen the uh, experimental, uh, ex experimental instruments. The instruments, uh, the in in instruments uh, accuracy values are listed here. Finally, we have answered it for the values. So, 2 to 5 percent is uh, we, have, we have found that. In experimental setup, excuse me. Uh, these are the uh, these are the very important. Uh, Important element in the experimental setup. Uh, in, 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 in the experimental setup, first we this is a very uh, important. Uh, in the atmosphere, in the atmosphere here drawn by the uh, blower, it will be controlled by the uh, it will be controlled by the. Uh, my VFD control the how much flow is in uh, how much flow is allowed into the uh, uh, how much amount of air is flow into the system will be regulated by the VFD controller uh, then the uh, incoming air will be heated by the heater is controlled by the temperature control uh, then heated air will be going to the uh, drying chamber uh, in To, to uh, drying kinetics and the quality in fixed and semi fluidized and uh, fluidized bed condition. Total weight of the sample to see 100 grams. The temperature varying by 50 to 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, velocity 0.8 to 0.35. Uh, 0.8 is a fixed bed, uh, fixed bed condition. 2.2 .2 is a semi fluidized or minimum fluidization velocity. Uh, 3.5 is a fluidized bed condition. Totally 9. Nine tests are conducted. Uh, then uh, optimization technique use the temperature. The input variables is three input variables. Uh, one is temperature. It is varying from 50 to 90 degrees Celsius. The velocity is uh, including velocity is varying from 2.5 to 4.5. Bed up uh, 150 to 750. Totally 20 experiments we have 
carried out. Uh, third one is uh, uh, addition of inert material in fluidized bed dryer. Uh, we have to 100 grams of uh, sample weight. Uh, the constant temperature 20 degree, constant velocity 4.4 per second. Totally 19 experiments we have conducted. Uh, the fourth one is uh, pre-treatment technique in fluidized bed dryer to enhance the uh, drying quality and the kind of We have to uh, 100 grams of sample weight. Uh, again, uh, constant temperature and constant velocity 70 and 4 meters per second. Totally 10 different experiments we have conducted. Uh, fifth one is uh, comparison of fluid is, uh, comparison of fluid is wet to open sun drain. Uh, here also we choose the sample weight is 100 grams, uh, 70 degrees Celsius. But for open sun drain, atmospheric conditions uh, only allowed. Uh, the final one is a uh, thermodynamic analysis. For energy exercise, also we have to study. Totally five five samples, uh, five studies are uh, carried out in the uh, that study, uh, that experiment. Uh, the, this is the first one. Uh, first, we have to so we have to find the what is the minimum fluidization for turkey berry. Uh, we given the we given the inlet to input to velocity. We have to given the bed pressure drop will be increases at particular point. Uh, the maximum will be attained, then will be the drop. Uh, the, the peak point is called as minimum fluidization velocity. Uh, after fluidization velocity, the bed pressure drop will be decreases. So we have chosen the randomly, uh, we have three points. Uh, point A is a fixed fluid expectation. Point B is a minimum fluidization velocity. And uh, C is a three point is a fluidization velocity. We have three velocities. And the three temperature, totally nine experiments we have conducted the first study. <coughs> okay. The first one is already we have told, totally is, uh, nine experiments we have conducted. Uh, initially, adjusting the in, uh, inlet temperature and the flow velocity, when the dryer was attained the steady state, the steady state mode, thereafter the sample was introduced in the drying cabin. Every 15 minutes interval, the whole sample was unloaded from the drying chamber and the weight is lesser and is recorded with the help of the digital weighing machine. Uh, after the weight measurement, the sample is once again loaded into the uh, another 15 minutes into the drying chamber. Further reduction of uh, final moisture content, uh, this process will be continued. Uh, next one is the uh, effect of physical and chemical pre-treatment method. Uh, in this method already we have uh, we have we know that totally 10 uh, tests are conducted uh, first one is a uh, untreated there is no treatment uh, second one is a uh, samples are plunged by hot water at 90 degree at only very uh, very short time 30 seconds only then abrasive treatment with the help of uh, sand paper uh, we have 30 minutes uh, the 30 minutes we have to abrasive treatment on the turkey bell samples uh, then fourth one is uh, combined uh, combined treatment abrasive with the hot water. Uh, so six to seven is a uh, chemical treatment process. Six to ten, uh, totally uh, five experiments was used. Uh, what are the what are the compositions also listed in the table? Uh, next one is uh, for inert material studies. Uh, totally 19, uh, 19 experiments we have to study. Uh, here, uh, mild steel and copper. Uh, first, initially, initially the roughness of the uh, roughness of the inlet material is point uh, almost around 0.45 and 0.4 mm. Uh, then, uh, then uh, after 18, uh, nine experiment, we have to uh, we have to create the roughness with the help of CNC machines. Then it will be hardening. Uh, we, we have to we have to improve the roughness from one mm uh, and uh, mass ratio of uh, three uh, three uh, uh, three mass ratio we have introduced totally 19 experiments we have conducted the this uh, this studies in comparison studies totally uh, in six experiments we have conducted one is here uh, untreated uh, uh, the best one of uh, inert material we have chosen and the chemical treatment are uh, three experiments we have chosen uh, and the untreated samples were treated in the comparison study. The energy exercise studies only five experiments the best of uh, best of untreated uh, best of inert material and the chemical and physical treatments uh, 
tested and uh, is compared to the untreated samples uh, and uh, whatever how much energy utilization what is the thermal efficiency all those things all those things we have to study in the in this study uh, these are the process parameter drying rate moisture ratio effective tpcbt uh, these equations very useful to find the what are the uh, drying kinetic uh, and the qualities also we have to study uh these these equations for uh, thermo uh, thermo uh, thermo thermo dynamics uh, thermal uh, thermal parameters energy utilization thermal efficiency specific moisture uh, extraction rate specific energy consumption and uh, how much amount of energy loss energy efficiency uh, these uh, these formulas will be used to find the uh, what are the thermodynamics uh, parameters we have to analyze in the uh our <clears throat> a result on discussion the, the first study uh, we have to study the drying kinetics and qualities of fixed semi fluids and fluidized wet conditions uh, first uh, in this graph uh, the drying rate of dusty uh, berry with respect to time uh in the maximum uh, point, uh, point zero zero 0.009 was achieved at the initial stage first one hour uh, at 70 degrees celsius c is nothing but fluidized velocity uh, whereas in uh, in uh, low in uh, fixed bed, in fixed bed condition at a temperature of 50 degrees celsius only uh, point zero zero 0.005 gram of water will be uh, evaporated the height uh, in maximum uh, maximum uh, rate of drying was uh, achieved because of the high temperature will be uh, will be uh, will be facilitate the vapor pressure on the uh, turkey berry cell structures therefore uh, it facilitated the some cracks and the pores uh, therefore the moisture moisture migration from inside of the sample to the outside of the surface so 70 degrees celsius for, and fluidized uh, wet condition is better than the uh, other other param, uh, other uh, other other studies based on the experimental results the high moisture removal rate was observed in the beginning phase while final stage was comparable uh, the maximum uh, maximum the minimum drying rate was measured at 9.4 grams uh, water 70 degree and 8.6 for 50 degrees uh, velocity uh, velocity of 3.4 and 8.8 meter per second the maximum drying rate was detected at 70 degrees celsius in all inlet air conditions compared to the other temperature during the high temperature uh, during the high, high temperature the vapor pressure on the cell wall in the cell structure increase as a result uh, static pressure of the decrease significantly based on the above reason the porosity of samples expands considerably the tendency to develop the more, more pores facilitate a simple mi simple migration from water from the interior to the sea. this is a moisture content reduction uh, with respect to the time uh, for uh, 50 uh, for three for nine experiments uh, in uh, 70 degrees celsius uh, in 70 degrees celsius we have to achieve uh, 640 minutes 45 minutes we have to achieve the initial moisture to final moisture content we have only taken 645 minutes whereas uh, in fixed bed uh, at, uh, at 50 degrees celsius it takes so long uh, 1610 minutes we have to take the uh, uh, drying of uh, turkey berry from initial to final moisture content <coughs> Uh, this is a, uh, our final value we have chosen for 0.14 kg of water. The initial value is 0.25 uh, dry basis. Uh, the drying period samples were uh, uh, the drying period of sample 50, 60, and 70 degrees Celsius in two days of conditions. So we have taken the uh, 1340, 960. please explain the salient inferences which you got. Don't uh, read all the. Uh, uh, next one is here uh, drying drying curves. Uh, uh, which uh, we have chosen the different models in a previous literature. We have taken the six models. Which models is suitable for the predict the uh, 
drying mo drying matches and match ratio uh, we have to find next one uh, the, the total the six uh, six mathematical used to uh, mathematical used to predict the values with the help of matlab we find the metli etli model will be will be perfectly fit on the cow fitting and the uh, drying model uh, because the r squared value is almost 0.999 and uh, ssc value sum of square error and uh, uh, root mean square error root mean square is less than the 0.0 this is a less value is uh, one is a better uh, better the uh, better model so we can find the metallic metal model is uh, perfectly fit on the uh, drying curves and uh, uh, the this table uh, this is that uh, what are the uh, metallic at all model coefficients and the and the values are listed in the table yes. so in the another uh, two uh, two parameters effective moisture dissipation and activation when they have nine experiment runs we have to listed in the tables uh, at is uh, at fluidized velocity uh, the effective dissipation is 2.8 uh, whereas uh, in point in fixed bed uh, we have uh, 8.7 8.792 is 24 of minus 9 minus 11 meters per second the, similarly the activation energy is varying from uh, 36.8 to 245 45.63 uh, kilojoules per second uh, uh, next one is uh, photographic and uh, microstresses view of the fresh and dried sample of only we have chosen for fluidized bed conditions so three three tests we have chosen uh, this is a fresh, uh, fresh uh, turkey berry and in the microstresser we can easily see that uh, so much of wax uh, uh, layers is covered in the surface of the turkey berry uh, this is a photographic view of uh, 50 degree 60 degree and 70 degree uh, this is a microstructure after the drying of uh, the bridge. Uh, if it's 70 degrees Celsius, the micro pores are created. Uh, we have already discussed the pores will be helped to migration of water from inner to uh, outer surface. Okay. Uh, from 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 the uh, from the previous slides, we have to uh, find the, the degree of color change is different under drying temperatures. Uh, and processing time uh, and uh, and this uh, already we have seen the disintegrated gas particle on the surface can be seen in the figure for the g and uh, the sample gas more porosity when the course of uh, degradation process or drying process performed at a high level uh, second one is a uh, uh, second studies uh, we have optimization studies we have to, totally 20 uh, studies uh, you know, we have done uh, the, in the, uh, the input parameters and the response uh, drying time sinkage total color visibility uh, at, at 70 degrees celsius which, which one is a better because uh, of content uh, and the total color change also uh, minim minimize uh, and the sinkage also uh, medium level we have five, we have gap we have five uh, drying is also 645 minutes. Uh, this is a polynomial equation uh, in the CV values of uh, C, uh, uh, response, uh, four response, drying time, think is uh, total color change in vitamin C. Um, the polynomial equation, the CV value is 1.6, uh, R squared will be almost uh, 0 0.99. So that's why the model is good. The another result of uh, drying time. Uh, the, uh, this is a uh, this is a regression equation getting from the ANOVA. Uh, this uh, this uh, this figure is the response surface of uh, the velocity, uh, temperature, and bed depth of uh, what you, how much drying uh, drying time is uh, involved. The maximum and minimum drying time was found at. 400 minutes for 90 degrees Celsius, uh, 1,600 for 50 degrees, uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, 50, to 60, 50 to 90 degrees at constant velocity, uh, 50 to 90 degrees Celsius uh, to raise the temperature from 50 to 90 degrees Celsius at constant velocity uh, and constant, uh, constant bed uh, depth. Uh, the degradation period, uh, time, the uh, drying time is reduced roughly three times 
with uh, with the zone in the figure so why uh, the inward velocity is uh, increase rise from 2.5 to 4.5 at constant temperature another two parameters is constant only 10 percent is of train period was reduced uh, similarly uh, 2. percent is when bed temperature was reduced only 2. percent will be reduced uh this is the next uh, para output response of sinkage and the response uh, flat uh, from the uh, figure uh, the sinkage uh, the sinkage ratio of tried test query is uh, varying from 47 to almost 70 percentage uh, so in the next table okay. and see another one set of sinkage ratio uh, and the r squared value predicted r squared value is also Uh, given in the table, the model is significant. Uh, next one is a uh, uh, total color change of uh, the product under their values. Uh, this is a uh, uh, from the figure we have find uh, medium temperature at 70 degree is corresponding hot time is less than that where we have to find. Whereas a high temperature uh, undesirable color change will be occur. Therefore, uh, we can choose. Uh, 70 degree is better than the other other parameter, and the equations also listed. I see another result of total color difference, and the R squared values and all those things also listed in the table. Uh, next one is a vitamin C return. Uh, how much amount of vitamin C returns? And the and 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 and, and, and the graphs also listed here. Uh, the the vitamin c regression models are given in the table uh, this is a independent parameters and output parameters uh, desirability uh, the combined uh, input and output parameters is we get 0.9583 so it is acceptable in range Of desirability. And this is optimization criteria for different factors for your temperature range, upper and lower limit, and output parameters, minimum, maximum. We have put on the RSM technique and get it the final value. And get it the final value of desirability. We get the totally starting desirability in that outlet and response. Uh, in 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 one in one test we have to finally to to conduct the experiment uh, what is the prediction and uh, experimental error we also we have find the find the value uh, also listed in the next some upcoming phase is a combined de desirability yes uh, this one is rs prediction uh, which parameter is the input parameter is optimal point Uh, and the uh, time under the response we have experiment we have conducted for 72.2 at the velocity and the bed depth uh, we have find the error 2.2 1.2 1.5 and point vitamin c is a very good prediction it's good and third study uh, The drying behavior and uh, uh, drying behavior of particular investigation is produced by with the mild steel, copper, and aluminium as the inert medium. Uh, first one is a mixture is with respect to time. Uh, there are four four different way we have to approach the uh, effect of inert material type. How much mixture is mixture will be reduced with respect to time? We have to analyze. Uh, second one is the effect of uh, with the without inert material. Uh, without inert material, it takes so much time. But uh, if now we replace the uh, inert material, uh, the, the drying time will be reduced. Uh, in another way, the effect of mass ratio. If you change the mass ratio of inert material at the samples, so what's happening in the drying? Uh, and uh, and the results are plotted here. Uh, this is the effect of uh, this is the effect of surface roughness. We have already know. Uh, the two 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 different type of uh, inert materials we have introduced one is a virgin material and another one is a roughed material we have create the roughness 
the rough material so uh, how much uh, train take will be taken and uh, and the uh, it is a details also listed in the graph uh, according to their result the aluminum inert material the aluminum inert material the aluminum inert material uh, uh, test number 30 was reportedly our nearly 28% shorter than the without inert material without inert material test number 1 So we have to compare. Uh, this is due to favorable conditions, rapid mass transfer, higher heat transfer rate created by inert material. Only for the mass ratio one is to one. Uh, if you mass ratio exceeds one is to two, for example, the another unfavorable results was recorded in the uh, in the uh, experimental results. Uh, and another one is uh, we can uh, we can choose the T14, T15, T16. The highest surface roughness of the inert material it reduces the drying time uh, nearly seven seven point five to fourteen percentage. The so, uh, another uh, parameter the drying rate uh, in the uh, for, uh, again the effect of inert material types uh, effect of with the without inert material. Here the T19 is a higher drying rate was observed. We are here T13 is aluminium aluminium roughly roughly inert material we can use the equipment and we have maximum drying rate was getting. From this figure we have maximum drying rate was actually on the T7 test. In effect of surface roughness, uh, in effect of surface roughness of the inert material, we had we got the maximum drying rate is T16 experiment. T16 test was here better than the other uh, other uh, roughly inert material. Uh, effect of moisture degrees we have to find uh, from uh, from uh, moisture ratio uh, which, uh, Of neither neither like that. The data will be started in the Excel sheet, and uh, to draw the linear curves and get with the help of the effective matcher TPCT linear equation, and to find the what is the effective TPCT of the all the 19 experiments. The effective uh, the effective TPCT is of uh, with without inert material is varying from 2.94 to to 30 to the power of 10 to. So 4.078 into 10 to the power of minus 10, minus 10 meters two per second. When the berries are dried at 70 degrees Celsius uh, with the inert material, the conduction and the convection heat transfer would increase the mass transfer of the water water molecules in the turkey berry. Uh, this is a uh, this table indicates uh, what are the qualities. Uh, uh, what are the qualities? Uh, for example, sinkage vitamins and color variations in the inert material. Total nine studies, nineteen uh, studies we have uh, we have uh, uh, studied in the tables. Uh, in these tables, T thirteen, T thirteen is a aluminium inert material uh, with the roughness of one uh, mm. It is uh, mixed with the uh, sample uh, to try that. If you want to try, it is uh, better than the other parameter. Uh, because low sinkage and uh, high vitamin C, we got it, and uh, and uh, uh, change in color is very less. Uh, that, that that's why we can uh, find the, the from this experiment think that is uh, better than the other uh, tests. Uh, another selling point: the aluminium material already we have uh, T that is. It is 40 percent the uh, 40 percent of the vitamin C content was re retained compared to the other tried under without the inert material uh, T1, which is only 30 percent was retained. Uh, this is a sub image of the with the without the inert material. Uh, the fresh samples, the first A is the fresh samples, and the without the these are the uh, uh, Fifty inert, fifty inert material, and uh, we have we can we can easily see that the number of pores and the cracks are developed in the surface of the uh, turkey berry skins. Uh, 
the figure shows already we we have shows uh, micro cracks in in addition of this integrated back layer also formed in the micro structure uh, formed on the uh, skin of the turkey berry we can see in the some images Uh, this figure is uh, this figure is indicated uh, any any foreign particles involved in the uh, turkey berry tried turkey berry powder uh, because we have used in the inert material with the help of xrd test we have find that any foreign uh, any foreign materials involved but uh, we have uh, we finally we have uh, found that there is no trace of any foreign foreign material and fourth uh, fourth title uh, fourth study uh, pre treatment uh, physical and chemical pre treatment method of drug uh, urea produced by dryer mm, first one we have uh, find the moisture uh, the variation of moisture content with respect to time uh, from this figure we have find that uh, the moisture initial uh, initial moisture content 5.2 to final moisture content 0.14 uh, we get uh, And we found that uh, T5 T5 is a very short T5 is a very short time. On around 340 minutes, we have to achieve the initial to final moisture content. Uh, uh, whereas in untreated samples, 640 minutes is uh, the same initial to final moisture content. We take uh, 645 minutes. We take the time period. Uh, uh, drying period of physical pre-treated for uh, T and T3 for 442 minutes, uh, where where uh, where as uh, chemical pre-treated samples took uh, samples took 480 to 5 580 minutes. The test number T7 to T10. Uh, the drying time hybrid treatment T9 was 440 minutes. The combined physical pre-treatment T4 and T5. Was uh, recorded at uh, 3:32 for for four hundred minutes. Uh, from the uh, from the experimental results, the combined physical pre-treatment samples were 38 to 49 percent, and hybrid treatment samples were 30 percent lesser than the untreated samples. Okay, this is a drying drying rate with respect to time. Uh, The maximum drying rate was achieved in T5, uh, whereas in untreated samples only less uh, less drying rate was achieved in the initial phase. Uh, from figure, uh, the drying rate of combined physical and hybrid pre-treated sample was around uh, around 2.5 times higher than the uh, untreated samples, whereas in T9 also two times higher than the untreated. Sample. Um, the effective moisture typicity of uh, pre-treated samples also to find the uh, same methods. We have uh, uh, moisture ratio, uh, moisture rate, moisture ratio with respect to the time. The data was uh, uh, data was uh, present. Uh, data was put on the uh, Excel and get the linear equation and find uh, and with the help of uh, effective moisture typicity. Uh, Effective moisture deficiency equation to find the what is the value of effective moisture deficiency. Uh, this is a volume volume volumetric sinkage ratio with respect to the moisture content. We have find the maximum the maximum the maximum uh, volumetric ratio was uh, we got it from the T5. Uh, minimum is uh, T1 untreated samples. Uh, the the table is list of the sinkage and the effective moisture deficiency of the all the ten experiments, ten testers. This is a color and nutrition evaluation of turkey berry. Uh, the physical and the chemical pre treatments. The picture of the all the samples. Uh, the maximum uh, maximum color change and uh, what is the pro promo change? All those we have to list up. Uh, the, uh, the vitamin C content is maximum at uh, T6 and uh, T5. Those are uh, T T5, T6, and T7. T7 is three is higher than the other uh, other experiments. The degradation of skin color uh, will be formed in the in the form of T4 is greater than the T2. T2 is greater than T5 in the form of 
summary and conclusion of the my research work next step. the first study uh, fixed a uh, semi fluidized and uh, fluidized bed conditions uh, the uh, first we have find the initial moisture content of the sample 5.25 dry bases uh, already in another term is 80% of wet bases uh, and uh, minimum fluidization velocity is 2.1 meter per second uh, from the studies, uh, we found that the processing temperature is a uh, role in the play role in the drying of uh, drying of turkeyberries. Uh, the higher temperature, 70 degrees Celsius, and fluidized velocity 3.4, uh, greatly increased the dry quality as well as the qualities. The maximum effective diffusivity and activation energy was absorbed higher temperature 70 under fluidized conditions. The drying performance sample was 
more precisely described by the Mitli et al. model compared to the other mathematical model. The second study uh, conclusions uh, from the studies, uh, the time time reduced approximately three times when temperature is increased to 50 to 90 degree at constant temperatures. Uh, the higher temperature is uh, higher temperature at 90 degrees diminishing the SR values of the samples. Uh, the effect of medium temperature of uh, 70 degree Celsius and the short time period was less change in color, whereas uh, the same temperature with the lower air velocity and high sample depth change in preference was higher. The highest vitamin loss was absorbed, which may be caused by the high inlet air temperature of processing air, as well as prolonged time taken in the course of drying. The optimization point of uh, uh, optimization point was observed uh, 72 72.2 degree Celsius, velocity 4.2 meter per second. And the better is 150 m. The third third studies we have to conclude the points. The higher surface roughness of the inert material would reduce the drying time nearly 7.2-14 percentage. The next one is the drying time samples with the roughness surface aluminum inert material T13 was nearly 28 percent shorter than the without inert material. Uh, even though introduction of inert material reduced the drying time, the mass ratio plays is here. The best mass ratio found in 1 is to 1. Uh, furthermore, when the mass ratio is exceed 1 is to 1, above 1 is to 1, uh, unfavorable results were recorded. Okay, go to the next step. Go to the next step. Oh, no, wait. Go to the previous step. The uh, more surface area of the uh, heat transfer in aluminium, then the copper. Therefore, the higher heat capacity and the surface area enhances the heat transfer rate during the deviation of samples. And the, the, the samples are tried in two days with aluminium inert material. 40% of the vitamin C content was retained, retained compared to the, those tried under the without inert material. Uh, the third study is we have concluded that these points. Uh, the first point is. Uh, the result, uh, the combined physical pre-treatable samples, 38 to 49 percentage, and the hybrid treatment samples were 30 percent lesser than the untreated samples. The drying time of T5 was approximately uh, 70.5 percent shorter than the T4. Uh, from the experimental research, it, uh, from the experimental research, the combined physical and uh, hybrid pre-treatable samples was approximately 2.5 times higher than the T, uh, higher for T5 and two times higher for T9 than uh, compared to untreated samples. The degradation of color uh, sequence in this order, uh, based on the result, the retention of vitamin C is 35% for T4, 36% for T5, and 34% for T9 was observed. The experimental research, the maximum vitamin C retention tried in T6 and T7. 
a better wax removal and micro cracks reduce in the combined physical and hybrid pre treatment methods followed by the other pre treatment the fifth study the conclude point is a uh, very uh, very important point the combined physical treatment as well as the addition of energy energy carrier method reduce the time time around 12 times and 10 times for compared to open cell trial uh, based on the experiment of return uh, result the retention of vitamin c content is 1.14 for t1 uh, 1.38 for t2 and 1.42 for t3 0.9 for t4 1.3 mg for t5 was observed at a few days with condition whereas the vitamin there uh, is the returns of vitamin c content are around uh, 0.4 only for open cell trial the thermo final one the thermodynamics analyzed uh, included the drying uh, the constant dry, constant drying condition the uh, is specific energy concept increased around two times when untreated samples were tried in fed compared to with uh, combined pre treated samples the drying efficiency of the combined physical pre treatment was observed at 25 to 81 percent while drying efficiency of untreated samples Uh, only uh, 15 to 16. The maximum value of the uh, energy utilization and the energy utilization ratio was 0.7 0.724 kilojoules per second, uh, 0.8 for FCT. The overall observation from this study: uh, the turkey berry is a food. Uh, turkey berry is a food stuff with a high nutrition content. Uh, and the process they have water barrier membrane with a wax layer the wax layer of the fruits restricts the water migration uh, from the inner to outer surface this stands reduce the drying rate the pre treated drying process more efficient than the untreated process and uh, traditional drying in addition the less least color degradation and vitamin c losses are achieved in the addition of inert material compared to untreated samples uh, and open sun as well as open sun drying the combined physical pre treatment of the samples achieved higher drying efficiency uh, higher uh, specific moisture removal rate with less specific power consumption maximum energy utilization the high efficiency low specific energy consumption uh, consumption attained in the combined physical treatment method compare favorably to the conventional method drying thereby making it is economically viable the scope of the feature work to improve the system efficiency by recirculate the excess moisture warm air in the fpd uh, second one the theoretical cfd approach needs to undertake the greater explanation and understanding the, uh, the result the performance and economic analysis on solar assisted fluidized bed dryer integrated with solar thermal storage the different non thermal pre treatment method will utilize and analyze the drying characteristics and qualities of the fibers uh, high thermal conductivity with low density material of inert material as the energy carrier will be utilized in the fpd drying kinetics and quality of the fiber analyzed on modified fluidized bed dryer uh, drying kinetics and qualities of the fiber analyzed to hybrid dryer and analyze the performance and economic viability studies on the drying kinetics and qualities of turkey berry in various commercial dryers like vacuum dryer solar dryer dry dryer rotary dryer micro, micro oven dryer etc the performance and economic studies on the basic heat recovery system integrate with the fluidized bed dryer in publication detail there are two publication we have published in the reputed journal uh, review uh, review report of the indian examiner uh, the first the first question is uh, we are uh, in type of people here we are missing the paper uh, part second uh, revise uh, as per the exam in uh, command meet uh, up the unit is incorporated in the revised thesis uh, similarly second one is a type of error for the characteristics is a type of error the revised as per the exam in center uh, similarly for excel uh, ex and exl the type of error is now revised The temperature is a type of error we have corrected in the revised thesis. Turkey uh, berry said that some places is uh, mistake in type of error. It's also uh, corrected in the revised thesis. Uh, 
So convecting is a type of so convert type of the error is also vector. Followed is a type of the error. This uh, this word is also uh, corrected in the revised thesis. Uh, the sixth question. Page number eighteen. Uh, comparison study. Uh, why you why you are not uh, choosing the energy expensive study? Uh, asking the questions. In OST method, the energy and expensive study not considered because the energy is so is natural. The source is free, therefore we cannot consider the energy exercise study for open centering. Uh, and also the, the some typographical error also we have to correct it in the page number 18. Yes. Uh, next question in the page number 18, uh, uh, 10 grams we have to use in the sample. Yes, we have to use it in the 10 grams for uh, to find the initial moisture content, uh, initial moisture content of the turkey berry. Uh, whereas 100 grams is used for drying in a produce bed layer. Uh, next, uh, here uh, the title will be changed as per the examiner, uh, examiner suggestions. The semi fluidized bed will be interrupted in the revised thesis. Uh, uh, the examiner asked the figure list must be placed uh, first followed by the table list. As per the university format, the tables should be come first. And uh, then a uh, list of figures. Uh, next is a title calculator. This also corrected in the revision calculus. Uh, yes, in the next question, the examiner uh, suggestion is to change the uh, uh, subtitle. Uh, subtitle. For examiner suggestion, the subtitle experimental planning through the RSL is modified into experimental analysis through the RSL. We can revise it in the uh, in the final thesis. Uh, here also the typographical errors also corrected. Yes. Uh, this question is also typographical very is a mistake a typographical error. Is this uh, typographical error is used to revise in the uh, final thesis. This a typographical error the typographical errors also mistake is and the line is revised. Uh, same questions. Why, why for the energy and essence analysis study, drying the energy recovery? In the open sun drying process, the energy and essence study is not considered uh, because the source of input energy is uh, The question is some grammatical extra typography errors uh, placed in thesis. The whole thesis is revised without typography errors as per the exam questions. Uh, feature work scope addition to, to be the two feature work uh, the performance and economic analysis based to get those uh, those two feature works also interrupted in the revised thesis uh, the type of the error also is now corrected in the revised thesis uh, review report for the foreign exam uh, the, the, the mistake is we have used the uh, uh, tanks and uh, uh, mixed uh, unit, so the whole piece is revised in this manner, maintaining the international units and standards without mixing the units as per the examiner's suggestions. Uh, figure one and two, as per examiner suggestions, the responses as per examiner suggestions, the reference are incorporated. The reference are incorporated in the figure one and two, figure one point one and one point two. The third question. Uh, uh, third question, so the response is, uh, as per examiner suggestion, the summary of the table uh, literature, review, literature review appear in the revised thesis. Same similarly, uh, section 2.4, uh, the literature review will be included in the, the table included in the uh, two point, end of the 2.6 sections. I have found the spelling mistake in grammar based various sections. Uh, the whole thesis is revised, the response is, the whole thesis is revised without typography error as well as double checked for the English grammar as per the exam exam uh, the next question uh, the next question uh, response is as per the examiner suggestions the summary of the table literature review and my critical review also interrupt in the revised thesis uh, the, the next question is in the research cap sections uh, the question is uh, 
uh, you need mention the exactly was done before uh, for the drying of tracky berry. Uh, my response is as per the examiner suggestion, it was incorporated in the into the revised thesis. Such as previous literature work of tracky berry investigation, which is briefly mentioned in the section on the just case. Yes. In chapter three, using the flow chart, uh, the question. Uh, as per the examiner suggestion, the figure number 4.4 .4 is moved into the chapter 3. Uh, the figure number 3.0, the flowchart will be interrupted in the revised thesis. And, and all the process, the whole PhD work was interrupted and modified into the flowchart. So, the uh, next question, table number 4.1, model equations. The drying, uh, the model equations. The dry uh, the, the drying model equations taken from the literature and the reference are interrupted in the thesis in table number 4.1 .4 as per the examiner suggestion. Units of various parameters are missing. All units are interrupted in the thesis 4. Point, uh, in table 4.2 as per the examiner suggestions. And figure 4.4, uh, this flowchart uh, uh, Already we have uh, we have seen the same questions. As per the exam assessment, the figure 4.4 .4 is moved into chapter 3, as well as all the process of all the process of whole feature works are interrupted and modified the flow charge. Yep. List of publication would be nice. It would be publication at the beginning of the thesis. This question. My response the thesis was prepared by the as per uh, guidelines of uh, guidelines and developed by the center of research and university. So the list of publications are placed at the end of the thesis. Uh, next question, explain the difference in information provided in the table 3.2, 4.4, 4.5. Yes, the pre-treatment methods are same, but the experimental number T1, T3, T4, T5 are different. Thereby, uh, three different tables are listed in the thesis. Section 5.1, are you repeating the objective here again? No need to include the basic again. Uh, the question is this. Uh, my response as per uh, exam assessment, repeating the objective and basic picture version are removed in the revised thesis. Furthermore, necessary information are appeared in the section 5.1. Uh, question, uh, next question, section 5.2 and 5.3, you have tried to connect your uh, finding with literature. It's not clear how you compare them. Can you read it, reorganize re the first sentence? As per the, my response, as per uh, the exam assessment, the section 5.2 and 5.3 confuses sentence are rewrite in the revised thesis. Yep. The question is conclusion section. You have mentioned everything, all finding in this chapter for the reader. It would be difficult to find the knowledge addition your major finding. Uh, this is the question. As per well the suggestion, a paragraph of economic point of economic point of view as well as our major find. Overall, major findings are incorporated in the revised thesis at the end of the conclusion section. This is the question, question part. First question. Bharati Raja. Bharati yes, Raja. Yes, sir. Uh, question we will ask, no problem. We will, uh, we will skip this. Okay. We skip that. Uh, already the questions are written. Okay. These are the references. references are okay. uh, so we have uh, come to the uh, next part of the Viva presentation. Uh, now the uh, candidate should uh, defend the questions uh, raised by the uh, public. Uh, why are, are my, uh, now the uh, participants from the public can raise the questions uh, to the candidate? Uh, uh, bar, 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 okay. Hello? Is it audible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Oh, audible, yeah, yeah. I need a few questions about this. Uh, followed the Because you have done the technique, right? Okay. We followed the standard corporate technique. You go to the slide. Okay, to the slide. Okay. Uh, which slide? Can you repeat, please? Yes, slide. That's, that's okay. This is an introduction slide. Go to the introduction slide. Introduction. Introduction. Sir, 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 slide number, sir. 
maybe slide number uh, before uh, fluid uh, he said uh, okay, because i need the clear because actually each and every day standards like like stm din standard or some other standard so which standard you have sir will i can you type in the chat box please uh, so sir uh, we could not hear you it's uh, not clear audio is not clear uh okay 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 yeah then uh, uh then bardi hello uh then another question uh, go to the optimization uh, slide number 47 the optimization uh, utilizing a response surface methodology Forty seven, yeah. You go back. Uh, okay, in this uh, fluidized bed dryer, so okay, what are the parameters you have optimized? what are the parameters and what are the important parameters and the levels in the tables okay that is also missing in your presentation okay please note down my question then uh, another question uh, will you go to the anova table okay wait Yeah, yeah, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your observation from this ANOVA table? ANOVA results for of uh, drying time. Okay. Look at the table. Okay. The model is significant, right? Okay. What What about the log of it? Now, whether the log of it is significant or not significant? Tell to me now. you didn't mention about uh, the mt okay actually the response surface methodology okay once you optimized okay the, the anova results also uh, the model should be significant and log of it should be insignificant okay, yeah? okay please check the anova table all the anova tables okay which is mentioned in your presentation and uh, another question what is the end use of your uh, end use of use of your uh, research work that 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 will, that, will, that, will, that, will, that is to be applicable for any other uh, industry or society okay, okay you should uh, you, you should tell uh, tell the application application point of view barney sir your mic is muted i think Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the end? End? Think it's not the source, sir. And also slide number sixty-two. Sixty-two. Okay. Uh, actually, you have put it in the same image, right? And it also looks like same. There is not the scanning electron micro now. I noted down my question, and you should write the one of the questions asked by me, okay, and submit the same, uh, same to the supporting doctor, CFR. Okay, thank you. Well, I, uh, is it over, Dhrumalai? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Is there any other questions from public? Okay, Bharati, I uh, really appreciate the work you have done. 
what i understand is you have developed a system by which can be used in agricultural and farming industry for uh, preserving the food product, uh, product tari, uh, turkey berry turkey so that uh, it, uh, it retains the nutritious values yes. uh, i would like to know what will be the it's a layman question only what will be the additional cost incurred have you worked on that for example 1 kg of thing if you are going to preserve you are going to spend money for using the uh, equipment okay so uh, that involves some electrical power so have you worked on how much of uh, additional cost will be involved for doing this yes ma'am actually the economical studies is another study for in future work i will, I will do this uh, economic study because uh, how much amount of energy uh, how much amount of uh, cost for capital cost and the energy uh, operation cost we have to study in the future that's why i cannot uh, do this uh, like <coughs> Hi, Dr. Rajesh sir. You gave a nice presentation. I have one question. Uh, your uh, method of uh, drying is very suitable for uh, small scale or medium scale or uh, large scale for uh, food for processing. This, uh, for this setup, it is used for the small scale. Only. Small scale only. If you okay. go for the large scale, uh, the continuous uh, continuous fluid is better. One type of continuous fluid is also available in the market. Okay. The for process will be continued. This is a patch type. Okay. So it is used for the small, uh, small scale application. Okay. Uh, another question. Your uh, one of the work is comparison with the uh, open sunlight with your uh, uh, fluidized uh, drying yes. method. Yes, uh, in that, uh, which is more efficient of uh, drying of food materials? Yeah, fluidized but uh, fluidized but drier uh, materials is yeah uh, higher than the open centrifuge. Open centrifuge. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. I congratulate uh, Bharati Raja sir for uh, doing a wonderful uh, research work. Uh, my question is on drying process. The wax get disintegrates. So whether this integration of uh, wax. Uh, reflects in uh, reduction of nutrients and second one is uh, the major nutrients in uh, turkey berry uh, is uh, iron and calcium so whether uh, mostly this turkey berry is uh, given to the we are advisable for anemic patients so what happens to the iron content uh, on drying process that's all ma'am uh, nutrition content so Vitamin C is a heat sensitive material. It's volatile one. Yes, mm -hmm. it is easily destroyed. That's why I focus on the vitamin C. Uh, first, initially I have to study the basic study, basic study, analyze uh, with uh, calcium and protein. Uh, those uh, those uh, nutrition does not uh, uh, disappear because the, we have we have given the inlet temperatures uh, maximum seventy degrees Celsius. So it is advisable above 60 degree Celsius. If given the any material, the vitamin C is only heat sensitive material. It will be destroyed. Other things also does not uh, does not disappear from the. Uh, no, the iron. What happens to the iron? Iron also, ma'am. Iron also does not. Uh, it, it is retained after yes, drying. Also retained. Thank you. That optimum temperature. Ah, uh, 70. Maximum 70. from public so uh, if any uh, my name is uh, dr balam from anamal industry hello hello yes sir please please hello myself yes sir we can hear you please from anamal industry faculty of faculty of rural development rural development and uh, sir uh, very happy to join with you uh, to uh, hear your uh, bio examination And uh, and partake in the bios examination, uh, sir. This is a question related to your subject, which is connected to uh, 
all other uh, social sciences pertaining to the social development and the economic development of village. So in this connection, uh, any scope for employment opportunities for rural people through this opportunities like uh, uh, I think that uh, the archiberry is a very important and useful uh, uh, nutrient which, we, which definitely used uh, used in almost all functions all functions all functions so that uh, what is the uh, scope for the uh, rural youth for employment opportunity especially self employment opportunity this is my about, uh, question how, how uh, you uh, if, uh, if, yeah you I want to no, no, I want to use technology the transfer to the village. Technology transfer to the village that will be useful for uh, making self more self employment uh, for for the village. Yes, sir, already uh, the rural people are uh, selling the turkey berry in the market in the fresh only. Uh, if you if you uh, try the product if you if you go for the tried turkey berry if you uh, in the in that uh, like shelf life it should be increased so whenever the demand is high we can easily sell the uh, sell the product so economical will be increased in the uh, rural people sir what's the uh, yes, sir, tried yes, sir. product is uh, technology technology development uh, for making a uh, dry uh, which, is, which, is, which is almost uh, is almost useful uh, useful thing in, in all the functions all the functions especially with any i think that uh, if uh, if the uh, veggie meals uh, needs uh, the type of uh, technology that type of uh, things uh, definitely they will use. They, they, they will use. So that I, I am asking you, sir, about what is the need for technology transfer to promote the rural life safety through, the, through uh, generating more employment opportunities, business employment opportunities, because of that, the very is available anywhere in the village. But it will be it will be transported to uh, nearest market the market in uh, in uh, green dairy, fresh dairy, right dairy is available well, uh, is value added product. So that uh, what is the benefit? If uh, if so, almost all uh, um, uh, green dairy, fresh dairy to the market to the nearest market centers. So that they, they, if they not, they are, they did not sell. They can keep it in one, in a, in a place, in a dark place. They are automatically dried. Automatically dried after one month, after two months. So what is the, what is the technology that will be transferred to the village? So, so that they can create so employment opportunities to the rural people. So that I am asking you, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you have told is a valid point. This technology can be okay. uh, minimized and it can be simplified so that uh, everybody can use this uh, technology uh, where the self life of this uh, turkey berry can be improved and uh, okay, okay. Uh, so move it to the market. Okay. So, that, uh, so that we, we, can can we create awareness. We create awareness. Yes, uh, yes sir. We, uh, yes, nowadays, Nowadays, it is in the MSME program there. MSME program approved such a type of turkey uh, berry uh, drying activities. Yes, sir. Well taken. Uh, MSME, MSME center approved uh, the type of uh, business and uh, manufacturing industry. So that is that will be useful for rural youth to promote their the, to, to promote their livelihood security through. I employment opportunities. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, if uh, if the uh, public part uh, question uh, session is over, then uh, we will hand over the uh, questions uh, session to the experts, sir. Uh, please. 
సార్ ఫస్ట్ ది ఇండియన్ ఎగ్జామినర్ ఆర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఎక్స్‌పర్ట్ సార్ ఇండియన్ ఎగ్జామినర్ సార్ డాక్టర్ లక్ష్మణ్ సార్ ప్లీజ్ సార్ సిదంబరం సార్ yes okay 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 yes, sir, mr bharati raja yes sir yes sir you come on the screen you come on the screen so already uh, sir is the is sir the screen sir uh, in the photograph only is there in the video presentation it is not like that Yes, i sir, congratulate yes, you for your presentation thank you sir okay first you take a cup of water first you take a cup of water after then you can uh, uh, answer the examiner's questions yes sir okay uh the in the turkey berry fruit you had done the model studies and simultaneously you had validated that with the experimental study whether it is correct sir i am not clear sir okay in the turkey berry fruit in the turkey berry fruit yes. you had yes. done the model studies and simultaneously you had validated that model with the experiment okay okay in those things experimentally in the fluidized bed dryer the temperature is being gradually increased from 50 degree centigrade 60 degree centigrade 70 degree centigrade the drying time is being reduced simultaneously you had optimized to that fluid flow velocity whether these things correctly significantly correlate with that model studies you had done in rsm technique and anova technique you kindly focus uh, that uh, study again could you able to understood my question sir is sir is asking uh, you have uh, developed a model and you have explained experimented it and validated uh, you have uh, developed the rsm uh, and anova table also uh, sir is asking about that one sir i am using the rsm technique and given to the input parameters and uh, output uh, regression models coming uh, getting from the anova tables okay okay during the model studies uh, the constant parameters in state conditions it has been considered i think so in the transient state conditions the model has been progressed whether the model value is good for the transient also you have the, you have taken 60 degree celsius 70 degree celsius and so on sir is asking within within the uh, temperature difference if it is in transient whether the model holds good no sir uh, the temperature also if you, uh, if you maintain the steady state condition we have to conduct the experiment so no transient sir no transient here in involve okay uh, that means that at fixed state conditions you have conducted the steady model is correct yes sir we are yes okay okay similarly the fifth study you had conducted fifth study you had conducted and that study the turkey berry fruits are being dried in plastic bag fruit the diagram you have shown it has been dried in yes sir 
it is it is well understood that we have been um, uh, kept exposure under a, a black coated concept black coated concept that dry nature is something um uh, 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 that uh, uh, my my questioner also that had a focus that why plastic trays are chosen for sample preparation why plastic trays are chosen for sample preparation for open drying and it's know how to uh, suggest your uh, uh, experimentation uh, actually in open sun drying we have put on the samples on the plastic tray uh, the reason is uh, if you if you put in the ground uh, the uh, uh, um, for the purpose is the clay dust sir uh, and uh, dust will be dust will be uh, appear on the samples so to avoid the dust and uh, and uh, Uh, other other foreign materials so if we avoid this that's why we can easily uh, handle the the uh, handle the tray uh, every totally eight days we have tried in the same sample so we can put on the sample in the uh, sample on the uh, plastic tray that's why we have uh, follow the okay my my suggestion is that like the next study uh in any actually quoted a concept these things have been placed the dryness will be faster because the absorption rate is losing the rate of the uh, uh quoted a concept the material also good okay sir thank you thank you yes sir yes, yes okay okay next question next question the plant the plant body is a high absorption rate therefore Uh, the drying rate will be increased. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you for your uh, yes. Yes. Future, I I take this point. In next future, I take friend, this next question, friend. Um, the in the experiment, the drying time reduction with increasing temperature. The drying time reduction. Increase in temperature and the velocity flow of the filtration from 0.5 meter per second to 4 meter per second. Whether that uh, same thing holds for the uh, constant depth or at the varying depth, at what depth you had optimized this parameter? Sir, in the experimental the. velocity compared to velocity temperature is a very uh, big role sir in drying of uh, solid product uh, uh, we are choosing uh, uh, 4, 4 4 4.2 is the optimum point of uh, air velocity but in enhancing technique for uh, pre treatment and uh, inert material we have chosen for 4 meter per second the velocity comparably the temperature velocity does not influence the drying kind of itself that's why we have we have round up the four bits per second okay 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 in a in a small fruit then in a macroscopic study in a small fruit study um the bari raja and a macroscopic study with the study suggestions as uh, asked by the public as asked by the public for uh, what helpful to them that uh, you had uh, answered uh, very well and uh, similarly you provide lot of job opportunities in the world providing job opportunities is and the skillful people are here to uh, nurture the job nurture the jobs as you had already suggested these things hold good similarly could you focus on the effect of drying rate effective moisture diffusivity and the activation energy obtained from fixed and fluid bed condition and 
activation energy and all other things so four uh, four parameters that also you need to concentrate like that uh, sorry, effective moisture diffusivity and activation energy attained mm -hmm. from fixed and fluid bed conditions could you focus some salient points in fluid bed in fluid bed conditions in fluid bed conditions the high temperatures will enhance the drying kinetics uh, for example in drying guidance such as uh, effective moisture diffusivity activation energy and those things will be increased by uh, to the high temperature will uh, high temperature and fluid velocity uh, the high convective heat and mass transfer enhance the uh, effective moisture sensitivity and vapor pressure will develop in the structure of uh, cells in the tachypery uh, there will be the, therefore the water molecules will move on the interior of the cell surface to outer surface of the tachypery then it will be evaporated easily uh, uh, which is we know we need for the uh, High fluid velocity as well as the temperature is also very important for the uh, effective moisture diffusivity as well as the activation energy. Uh, it will be uh, it will be very important. Okay, okay. 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 Good morning, Raja. Uh, I I mean, uh, 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 ask my salient. Before that, I will um, uh, uh, highlight some uh, valuable uh, uh, experimental investigation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The experiment was uh, planned in such a manner that uh, food product drying is an important factor. So, we need to uh, get a um, correct food product. We thought that everyone is using turkey berry, so it is easily available inside the market. So we selected that one and we designed the experiment in a three major category. One is uh, he has to find out the fluidized velocity first, then uh, the open and drying is taken as a um, reference point. Uh, then uh, the addition of uh, two more things, one is chemical treatment, another one is physical, uh, physical treatment. Chemical treatment, uh, blanching method has been employed, and uh, physical uh, physical treatment, uh, sandpaper has been employed. Physico-chemical treatment, we, uh, we thought that uh, we will add some inert material uh, so that uh, the fluid is, when the fluidization takes place, the contact will be more and drying time will be come down. But we had a doubt that uh, if you uh, use the, the al aluminium, copper, and the MS uh, due to the inferences and uh, Due to the turbulence, there may be some uh, uh, metal parts uh, may penetrate into the um, food, uh, food product. So we did uh, XRD, that also ruled out. Then we developed this model for optimization. Uh, some more work are to be added for this uh, drying techniques that we are planning, sir. Um, out of this uh, research work, uh, we could able to get uh, uh, two publications and another two papers are uh, loaded in the uh, good journals. Uh, we uh, uh, we have suggested him to go for uh, postdoctoral in the same field as it is very much uh, uh, useful for the society. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, and, um, uh, now, uh, as the doctoral committee board, the examiner panel could. Uh, uh, conclude. Uh, sir, uh, subject expert is waiting. Sir, a subject expert uh, need to ask questions. Okay. 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 Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, uh, professor. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good, Mr. Bharati Raja. Uh, your presentation is very nice and topic also very interesting. Experimental investigation of the drying kinetics and the phys physical chemical qualities of Turkey berry in a fluidized bed uh, dryer. Uh, on behalf of a foreign examiner, I put some questions. Uh, the foreign examiner uh, commended your uh, research activity. 
foreign examiner is Dr. Abdul Kilaf Hussain, College of Engineering and Physical Sciences, Aston University, UK. According to his report, the scholar investigated various parameters related to the drying characteristics of activity, such as drying rate, effective oil activity, and activation energy in a fixed and limited condition. Optimum operating condition of the of Turkey barriers in the barriers published and the desirability functionality of the techniques. The scholar has demonstrated the knowledge that is there is enough evidence and demonstration of knowledge. The scholar spent a considerable amount of time in design the experiment and conduct the parametric study. The research work done by the scholar is commendable. This is the report of foreign examiner. And uh, foreign examiner suggested some minor corrections. And the, all the corrections are incorporated in the thesis. And uh, the scholar also presented uh, the uh, answer to the queries in his presentation also. Uh, separately, five questions to the scholar. By the examiner. Before asking that question, I want to get clarification about uh, some questions. Uh, my question is first of all, uh, what is the specific reason for selecting that theory? Please answer. Why you have selected Turkey is here. I nutrition content of food product. And, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, village area that uh, the uh, that vegetables are also available. Uh, and uh, up to now nobody is uh, done uh, at the time of uh, I visited. Whether you consulted with any food processing process? No, sir. Because uh, uh, in your, uh, your first DC meeting itself, in your first DC meeting itself, you were uh, one of the DC members from Gandhigram Rural, Rural University has suggested DC. Uh, DC Mister, yeah, you tell them. Uh, yes, sir. My father, one of the DC members, Mr. P. Kirbagran. He is working at Gandhigram uh, uh, University in the energy center. So we have discussed. Uh, then uh, you give the, the no one is studied in the particular product for Turkey berry. You have to choose. Uh, it is better choice. Uh, I am also uh, I am also doing the I me mean, project is product better. Uh, so we can uh, we can choose the Turkey berry in, into the product better. Uh, up to now, no one is doing the Turkey Berry. Okay, good. You were right. You selected a research. But anyway, you have to be the industry guidelines. And one more question I want to ask. In the response, I want to ask you the part. You have developed the development equation. Have you developed a model or a non-linear progression model? Uh, what do you have focused? Which one? Have you uh, wow, which type of model you have developed out of the Tara? Some some equation also you have shown, no? That is that asking. That one, that the model equations also the previous taken from the previous lecture. That is a power and power model, but you have developed a geometric model. Six models we are taken from the previous lecture. No, see, Sar is asking what type of model you have developed, whether it is a regression model, non linear regression model, quadratic non model. What type of model you have developed? Okay, the, because uh, that uh, model is valid uh, between the conditions. That's why I am saying. Okay, now come to the foreign examiner uh, questions. Eh? Uh, first question, is there any limitation of your study? 
these streams to be applicable for large industries farmers any idea for small scale application or small farmers i think almost uh, one of the audience asked the same question yes sir yes. what is your answer yes sir it is uh, these setup is used for small scale industries if you go for the large scale industry the continuous fluid is but rare is available in the market so for my study is for page type fluid is but this type of dryer is used in the small scale industry okay Uh, overall the study is wide we looked at the various parameters out of all parameters we have investigated which one is the most important and why uh, sir so totally three different uh, input parameters are we are used in okay we know the input parameters temperature yeah. velocity yeah. and the Uh, the most uh, prominent it, uh, parameter is uh, an output parameter uh, which one is most important sir drying time or shrinkage or vitamin c and sir nutrition as well as drying time is most important drying time is less the nutrition value is also yeah, we, yeah, we we know that uh, we know the, the nutrition loss is that two, two, two things are involved one is a uh, high temperature uh, if you give the high temperature processing here yeah, the nutrition value for losses uh, and uh, furthermore in addition uh, if you prolong the drying period at the time of uh, the nutrition loss goes also high sir that's why uh, drying time is very important uh, so drying okay. time first nutrition second eh? yes sir okay what would be the most cost effective approach for drying dairy most cost effective approach for drying dairy for oh, most cost effective my studies uh, my discussion is my, uh, totally my studies uh, the combined physical pre treatment method is cost effective method to compare to other techniques the combined pre treatment technique uh, physical treatment technique you take the uh, less uh, drying time that's why i i suggest uh, the time is a very important parameter compared to other parameters is all uh, all the parameters as related to the drying time the, that's why we can uh, my suggestion uh, the most uh, most uh, uh, superior technique is uh, physical combined physical combined treatment is the best method of Uh, physical uh, combined combined physical pre treatment method key treatment method yes sir okay good okay. Uh, next question is why yes. not you use cfd technique in your study sorry cfd technique we are focusing only the experimental analysis sir in experimental investigation and experimental modeling we are focusing yes sir in future we will take next for further studies yes sir yes sir yes sir okay uh, next one is what is your knowledge addition that is the last question raised by you for an example so from this uh, page we work i have got the knowledge from uh, some literature survey the Uh, no, no. That is the main meaning. Is, is what is your contribution to the society uh, regarding the research topic? What is your objective? You have video, yes, video, uh, video achieved your objective. That is uh, the. Did you achieve your objective? Uh, whether it is useful to the industry, how the society will be benefited. you have to tell in uh, short okay this uh, this project is very helpful to the rural people uh, if you if you dried product will be value value added product will be sales to the market the economic growth will be increases if we increase the economic growth in village the gdp also increase the uh, increases that's why my my objective will be achieved 
ओके ओके एक्चुअली यू डोंट फील योर इन योर कैरियर डेवलपमेंट्स एंड इंप्रूवमेंट्स इन कैरियर वेरी और गेनिंग सर्च फॉर द फॉलोअर्स ओके 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 आई एम हैप्पी टू कंग्रेचुलेट मिस्टर आर बारदी राजा फॉर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस रिसर्च एंड आई आल्सो टू कंग्रेचुलेट श्री त्रिमाल सर फॉर सक्सेसफुली प्रोड्यूसिंग द फर्स्ट स्कॉलर एंड आई विश द श्री सर टू प्रोड्यूस मोर नंबर ऑफ स्कॉलर्स a uh, future end of work because first thought best thought first student best student uh, you are going in the right direction uh, my wishes to to mal sir sir whether i will conclude or uh, i will conclude uh, sir chidambaram sir yes 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 sir we can we join together as a Uh, the research supervisor approach of Dr. Thirumal and the subject expert Jayvon and uh, myself, along with uh, these team members and the uh, public who had a chance. Sir, our new title. இல்ல ஏதோ ஆடுங்க நான் மியூட் பண்ணிட்டியாப்பா சார் சார் இத லெஃப்ட் ஆயிட்டீங்க அதான் சார் ஆ சார் எஸ் சார் ப்ளீஸ் हाँ सर माइक सर प्लीज अनम्यूट सर यस 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 माइक हैज बीन अनम्यूटेड अनम्यूटेड आम आई जॉइन विद प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर तिरुमाल सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट एंड माइसेल्फ in congratulating mr bharati raja presentation experimental investigation of the drying kinetics and the physico chemical quality of turkey berry in a fluidized wet dryer the thesis discusses the results obtained from the study investigation drying rate effective moisture diffusivity and activation energy are attained from fixed and fluid wet condition the thesis comprises six chapters the total pages and two articles published in international journal the scholar uh, had incorporated a typographical error and a few minor amendments suggested by the evaluated member Uh, internal uh, uh, examiner member and foreign subject um uh, the thing is uh, well organized and the research supervisor had done a good justification of the small sir had done a in bringing out the research findings in bringing out the research findings because in a small Very crude, uh, Mr. Bharati Raja had done a macroscopic research, and a macroscopic research that he had experimented, experimented the fermentation combination with the three different temperatures and the three different velocity flow rate and the different beating 
and he had assessed the permutation combination and mathematically analyzed uh, that has been simulated that has been simulated in the Orson technique and ANOVA technique. Orson technique and ANOVA technique is a research finding that he had found that had been experimented. That has been experimented. That means that the research has been validated. Okay. Some of the few uh, research arena questions have been offered to us from the public. It is a subject expert, um, uh, Jay Wall, who is a research supervisor for the film mall, and Michael of the Chidambaram, and after analyzed the thesis defendants from uh, Mr. Barbie Raja. Now, the panel um, uh, comprises uh, the research supervisor, Michael, and the, on behalf of foreign intelligence, sir, can we conclude? Uh, yes, sir. sir, could uh, uh, conclude or myself from my words, I can conclude or yes, please. along, we all join together in uh, concluding the um, uh, findings of the thesis defended. Yes, sir, thesis is defended. Sir, okay. Sir, please okay. Proceed. Okay. Now, uh, um, uh, can we congratulate uh, Mr. Bali Raja into the next stage? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Please. Okay. Um, uh, um, uh, I join along with Professor Dr. Kumal, subject expert, and uh, um, uh, myself. I congratulate Mr. Bali Raja. Right? Successfully defended, successfully defended experimental investigation of the and physicochemical qualities of the Here afterwards, uh, uh, this is going to be the first thing for the uh, research supervisor and for the candidate and for the candidate. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, or Bari Raja, here afterwards, um, the panel concluding uh, here afterwards, uh, Mr. Bari Raja, or Bari Raja, called as Dr. Mark Bari Raja. Dr. Mark Bari Raja. We join with Professor Thirumal, subject expert Jayabal. They can also uh, say some four words about the sir, 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 kindly, Jayabal, sir, kindly. Uh, congratulations, uh, Dr. R. Bharati Raja, for successfully completing these things. We, ha we happily call uh, Dr. R. Bharati Raja. And I uh, congratulate, uh, once again, I congratulate the uh, supervisor as well as scholar uh, for their uh, hard work and successfully completing this re research work. So, you have contributed something to the society. You continue in your future endeavor also. Congratulations to both. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So on behalf of uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering and Government College of Engineering, Bargur, I thank all the research area and public and uh, our uh, Indian examiner, uh, Dr. L. H. Chidambaram and uh, uh, the subject expert, uh, Professor uh, Jaibal from uh, GC Tanjavur. Uh, it's a very good uh, experience that uh, uh, Bharati Raja has uh, delivered uh, his presentation in a large scale manner, almost uh, 90 minutes. He has, uh, he has to drink some water in between also. He has defended the questions uh, um, uh, with uh, justification. Uh, uh, thank you one and all present here. Uh, we, uh, we, all, uh, we, uh, we all invite you for the lunch also. Hereafter, uh, Mr. Bhardraja will be called as Dr. Bhardraja. Thank you one and all. So, uh, excellent. Thank you one and all present here. Uh, thank you very much for the coming to my presentations. <laughs>
you thank you my doctor jai bhav sir and uh, thank you <laughs> thank you very much sir uh, thank you doctor uh, chidambaram sir thank you very much bharati raj sir you can say your acknowledgments from your uh, family say you have helped the yeah, experiments technically and in the college thing also who had uh, helped you those acknowledgments you can uh, present yes sir yes sir uh, thank you for my my family members my research scholar and colleagues and my faculty members Uh, all of you give the contribution by do uh, do successfully success, successfully submitted my uh, phd i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to dr p thirma professor in department of mechanical engineering government college of engineering burgur kishnagiri for his valuable and sincere guidance this thesis would not have been completed without his help and his consistent encouragement inspiration heartfelt good wishes and support throughout all the phases my research works i heartily thank to dr r vijayan principal roman college of engineering burgur krishnagiri for his constant encouragement and support throughout my research work i am happy to acknowledge dr s jaybal professor department of mechanical engineering government college of engineering tanjavur and dr s anand kumar assistant professor department of mechanical engineering government college of engineering tirunelveli for this unblocking encouragement and supportive guidance throughout my research work i take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank my doctoral committee members dr v kirbagaran associate professor center for rural energy gandhigram institute dindukal and dr p palamurugan professor department of mechanical engineering shri krishna college of engineering and technology coimbatore for the valuable judges and support throughout the my research work i am also honored to thank uh, reviewers for the valuable comments and judges this works also outcome of the patient guidance support my mother my wife mother in law father in law son and daughter sister and brothers my colleagues for the whole hearted cooperation during my research work thank you thank you anand sir sir shall we conclude the meeting sir yes sir yes yes sir. yeah thank you sir thank you very much sir thanks sir okay <laughs> thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Both, both.